Okay, this time we're going to create a midpoint, which is exactly the same steps as a perpendicular bisector. You're going to put your pointer on one of the endpoints. I have line AB. You are going to make sure your compass is open more than halfway, and you are going to make an arc above and below your line segment. And you're going to pick up your pointer, move it to the other endpoint, and repeat those steps. This time, because we're only looking for the midpoint, you have your intersection points, and you are going to use your ruler to connect them, but this time we're not going to draw our line connecting them. We're just going to make a small point on line AB, and I will label that M for our midpoint. Now we're going to look at triangles X, Y, and Z, and we're going to create a midpoint for each side of the triangle. So. I'll look at side YZ first because that's closest to me. Put my, I'm putting my pointer on Z, making sure my compass is open more than halfway. Arcs above and below. Put my pointer on Y. Arcs above and below. And then I'm going to use my ruler to line up my intersection points. And Again, I only need to know where the midpoint is, and so I will label that point M. I'm going to now do the same thing for line XY. Put my pointer on X, above and below arcs. And again, I have two intersection points. I'm using my ruler to connect those points, but I'm not drawing a line. I'm just making a little mark, and I'll put that as M sub 2. I'll go back and make that M sub 1 for my first midpoint and second midpoint. Okay, and then we'll do a midpoint for the last line. my new intersection points. Again, you have to kind of, once you start getting a whole bunch of arcs in there, you need to start keeping track of which arcs you're looking at. I'm connecting my two points with my ruler. I'm just making a point where my midpoint is, and I'll label that M sub 3. So we're going to create some segments in our triangles using these midpoints. If I take M the first midpoint, which I labeled M sub 1, and I connect that to the opposite angle, which in this case would be angle X, what I have created is called a median. I'll try to write that so you can actually see the word. So that is a median. I, there's a three medians to a triangle for each triangle, so I can take my second midpoint that I created, which was on X, Y, and if I connect that to the angle across from it, which is angle Z, that would create my second midpoint. And then if I repeat that for the third time, here's line segment X, Z. If I connect the midpoint of that line segment to the opposite angle, which is angle Y, that is now my third midpoint. And just like our perpendicular bisectors, all three of our midpoints all intersect at this common intersection point.